a right angle. Let us match the base line of the protractor and the horizontal arm of the angle to each other. Match the midpoint of the protractor and the vertex of the angle to each other. The vertical arm of the angle and vertical line on the protractor should exactly match each other too. Now let's read the number on the head of the vertical line. It is 90. So the measurement of this angle is 90 degree. The angle is open from right side. So you can read the measurement from the right side of the midline of the protractor. If the same angle is open from the left side, then you can read the measurement from the left side of the midline of the protractor. The measurement will be the same in both the cases. If the line of the upper arm does not reach the line on the protractor, then you may extend the line. Remember, the measurement of the angle does not change even if you extend the line. Any angle which measures 90 degree is called as a right angle, an acute angle. Let us match the base line of the protractor and horizontal arm of the angle to each other. Match the midpoint of the protractor and the vertex of the angle to each other. Now look at the other arm of the angle. It is pointing a number on the protractor on the right side of 90 degrees. The arm of the angle aligned to the baseline extends towards right. So you can read the measurement from the right side of the midline of the protractor. Let's read this number pointed by the arm. It is 50. So the measurement of this angle is 50 degree. The arm of the angle aligned to the baseline extends towards the left side. Then you can read the measurement from the left side of the midline of the protractor. The measurement will be the same in both the cases. If the line of the upper arm does not reach the line on protractor, then you may extend the line. Remember, the measurement of the angle does not change even if you extend the line. Any angle which measures less than 90 degree is called as an acute angle. It's always on the right side of 90 degree. An obtuse angle. Let us match the baseline of the protractor and horizontal arm of an angle to each other. Match the midpoint of the protractor and the vertex of the angle to each other. Now look at the other arm of the angle. It is pointing a number on the protractor on the left side of 90. The arm of the angle aligned to the baseline extends towards right. So you can read the measurement from the right side of the midline of the protractor. Let's read this number pointed by the arm. It is 130. So the measurement of this angle is 130. If the same angle is open from the left side, then you can read the measurement from the left side of the midline of the protractor. The measurement will be the same in both cases. If the line of the upper arm does not reach the line on the protractor, then you may extend the line. Remember, the measurement of the angle does not change even if you extend the line. Any angle which measures greater or bigger than 90 degree is called as an obtuse angle. Children, do we see angles in day-to-day -day life? Think over. Yes, we see them when we open a refrigerator door or when we open a window or when we open a money wallet as well. Even 
the arms of a clock form angles. Isn't it amazing? Let's now see few positions of the arms of a clock. At 545, there is a right angle. At 620, there is an acute angle. At 230, there is an obtuse angle. What did we learn? There are three types of angles. A right angle. The measurement of this angle is always 90 degree. An acute angle. The measurement of this angle is always less than 90 degree. An obtuse angle. The measurement of this angle is always more or greater than 90 degree. We see many objects around us which have various angles. The measurement of the angle does not change even if you extend the line. Exercise. Write the measurements of these angles. 1. Obtuse angle. 2. Acute angle. 3. Right angle. Name the following. 1. An instrument used for measuring the angles. 2. Sides of an angle. 3. Joining point of the two sides of an angle. 4. Shape of the edge of a protractor. 5. Unit of measurement of an angle. Project. Make a list of objects or positions you see around you which make an angle.